All right, today I'm going to show you some of my quail. I have two quail that are in here. Um, one is a male and one is a female. Um, they were getting beat up by a male quail that they were in the same cage with. And so I removed them um, a few months ago and put them into this cage by themselves only because I didn't have another place for them. I will have another place for them next week. Um, because I'm going to be doing redoing a lot of my quail setup. So let me show you where my other quail are. So here's where we've got two other cages of quail. This isn't going to last very long as far as um, what this looks like right now because I'm actually going to redo this whole area next week. But I just thought I'd come over here and show you a little bit of um, what I've got going on. That is our kitchen window right, right there. And let me show you at the top, we've got these lights on and we leave them on all the time um, overnight um, because of safety. We feel like um, it would keep people away if there's any people in these hills, if there are any people in these hills. And um, uh, predators, keeps predators away as well. But as a result of having the lights on all the time, then uh, the birds feel like it's always in season to lay eggs. If we were to turn the lights out, the birds wouldn't be laying eggs until um, late spring or early summer when the when the days are longer. But because the lights are on all the time, then the birds lay eggs now. And if you take a look, this is a, we call it a rollout cage. This is my first set of babies that we hatched out. And they, um, they are about two months old, um, almost eight weeks. And they are laying eggs, as you see right here. They lay them, and then they roll down. I'm sorry about all the poop. Um, we have some issues with the dogs, and I just haven't figured out how to best take care of their excrement. But here's one, two, three. Four, five. Push their water back in there a little bit. There's five eggs. And I'll be getting a sixth one pretty soon before the day's over. Somewhere in there. Let me see if I can show you my birds. They're all very pretty. I've got um, six female and two males in here. And I've got some babies that I'm almost ready to bring outside. Sorry, these guys are not two months old. They're closer to three months old. The two month old babies I'll be bringing outside uh, next week. Sorry, they're not two months old, the babies. The, the two month old babies are one month old. Okay, wait, no, okay, sorry. Too much mating going on there. I didn't mean to catch mating on camera. Um, but they do mate all the time. So those eggs are gonna be fertilized. We can still eat them, although everybody prefers not to. This is my other cage. This was my first cage. I had five birds in here. I thought they were five females. Turned out one of the birds was beating up the other bird. And after a lot of trial and error and separating them, I discovered that the one that was beating up the other one was a male that was beating up a male. So instead of having five females, I had three females and two males. And you just can't have that kind of a ratio. You need to have five to one is ideal. Um, three to one is fine. And so these birds are where we've been getting our babies from. We've been collecting their, their eggs. I get three eggs a day. And I've been collecting their eggs um, and putting them in the incubator. And we've hatched out so far. Um, sorry, again, I guess it's the, just that time of day. Good mating day. Um, we have hatched out, I want to say, about... Well, the first hatch we got 10 live babies. And the second one we... Hatched out 19 and two of them died, so we ended up with 17 birds. So um, that's 27 birds in about a two-month time period, which is pretty good. And what am I going to do with all those birds, you ask? Well, three quail egg. I'm going to work while I'm talking. Three quail egg equal about the, the amount of egg as one chicken egg. So what we need are enough eggs to feed our family. Oh, and I've got all three. A lot of times, a lot of times they wait till late in the night to 
to ha to lay their eggs and I'm really happy when I only have to come out here once because it's a little bit cold. I do collect the eggs because um, I don't want the eggs to get cold or frozen because then they're no good. Um, and I don't, I'm not referring to being good um, as far as being viable for hatching, but that, as well as the fact that they just don't taste right. Okay, so here's one, here's two, and here's three. I'll show you a little trick about these. This one right here, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a little bit pointier. These two are slightly more round, and it is believed that the pointier one is a male egg, and the rounder ones have female birds in them. I don't want too many males because they fight. But in any case, we want lots of birds because we need lots of eggs. Because my kids go through eggs like crazy. And we've had to pay $20 for five dozen. Today, we're down to $14 for five dozen. Which is better. The price has dropped a little bit. But, um, we've got, um, 17 babies that are ready to come outside on Tuesday, a, a couple days from now. About three days from now. Um, and I have a cage for them, and I'm going to set everything up out here. Uh, we use a lot of tarps, so I'll be using tarps for the cage as well. I've got a table to put them on. And, um... And I haven't quite figured out how many eggs we actually need, but when you're dealing with only three eggs equal one chicken egg, then a person who wants a three egg burrito are, is going to need nine of the quail eggs. But um, the great thing about quail is that they're not broody. They don't like to sit on their, which means they don't like to sit on their eggs to hatch them out. They basically uh, lay their eggs and then abandon them. So I collect them and then I either hatch them out or we eat them the kids eat them so um i'm going to turn this off now because i'm going to need two hands to carry all of these eggs i've got we've got three here i've got four there and one that's under and i'll come back in a little while and i will have a sixth egg because this cage gives me six eggs and um if i end up with a lot of babies i might start selling the birds each because I can sell them for about eight dollars a piece and that would give us um money to buy more bird food not that their food is very expensive but sometimes we need a little bit of money that's about it